everyone, it's Lisa. Happy Friday. I hope that you have had a wonderful week. I hope you're having a good summer. And we are, I just, every night I feel like, I feel like we're, you know, well, we are on vacation, but I have that excited feeling. So today I have so much stuff to show you. I will understand if you have to stop this video and come back to it <laughs> because it's going to be a long one. So I was just getting ready to start putting on my jewelry and I thought I would just do that with you along with I don't have anything on my lips because I wanted to show you something that I got. But first let's put on jewelry and I am so excited for Dean Davidson because he is now at Nordstrom and I'm so proud of him. And he sent me some of the collection that he has in the anniversary sale. I had no idea when he was texting me I was it was like the day maybe the night before or the day before I went to Atlanta and when he was saying anniversary I knew he was getting on with Nordstrom but when he was saying anniversary for some reason it wasn't clicking with me I think because my brain was just freaked out from having to I'm still just not a good packer and I really you know choke when it comes to packing to go somewhere it's just like I never feel like I can make the right decisions anyway and um so anyway, it took me until I think two days ago to realize that the stuff he was sending me is actually in the sale. So I wore some of it yesterday and I just loved it. It was so comfortable. Nothing I wore made me feel like I needed to take it off. Like that feeling, you guys know what I mean. Like there are some rings and earrings that I wear that as soon as I walk in the door, if not before, I take them off. And I think some jets are gonna go by. We live kind of near um, Camp Lejeune. so. We have those jets going off. But anyway, so here is the first pair of earrings that I'm gonna show you. And these are the ones that I'm gonna to wear today. And I hope that my camera is zeroing in on them, but oh, they are beautiful. This whole collection has that kind of bamboo um, vibe. Like I love, I just love that. I think it's so summery and it's a little bit um, 60s, 70s, you know, a little bit retro, I think. That whole, you know, the whole look that I love, like the um, bamboo frames that I did my pictures in. I just love that look. And um, these not only have the Labradite at the top, I want to get out of this so it doesn't focus on me. Can you see how these not only have the Labradite, but then they have the links and then at the end of them see how there's like a pave crystal right there at the end they're just beautiful and when you wear them i wore them yesterday with my hair straight and i just love the way i look and really nice backs i don't know if you can see how that back is so nice and different and all of his jewelry is 22 karat gold plated and it's made in canada and so i'm going to put those on for you to see how pretty they are Oh, I just love them. Okay, so put these on. And then he let me choose from the um, necklaces. And I chose this one. You guys know I am a sucker for just a long chain. And this has that same look, almost like bamboo. I keep laughing because a long, long time ago, when I was with this girl, it was in my early 20s, but she was trying to say baboon, and she kept on saying a bamboo, a bamboo. And I remember we were just laughing so hard. So now every time I say bamboo, I think about her trying to say baboon. <laughs> it's so funny. I just read, my memory is... I mean, it's amazing what I can remember, even from my childhood. So anyway, I wore it yesterday. Here, we'll stand up. I wore it yesterday with a long, I've got on high-waisted pants today, with a long, just a black dress, and I loved it. It just, there's something about just a simple chain like this that is so chic, simple, and it just elongates you, makes you look so put together and it's just so easy to put on and then I was noticing as soon as I got it that it has it's not just like a continual necklace it's actually got a you know let me just take it off and show you but see how it's got like that D link 
Well, what you can do is you can actually put it on and you can wear it if you want to wear it, you know, more like this, like a lariat style, you can. Or on the, I know on the website it shows someone wearing it like this and then it trailing down the back, like if you had on a really pretty cocktail dress. But the first thing I thought of is, you know, I don't know if you've ever done this, where you try to wear a long necklace as a bracelet and you can't because it, comes to an odd length and then because it doesn't have a catch you have to just wear it like that that's what i thought of so i personally you know i love wearing just a plain chain like that so that's how i'm gonna wear it okay then he sent me this he said he thought i needed this too and this is the same chain but it is the tassel and oh it's just gorgeous left it on here. I was hoping maybe you could see it better on the black background. And this is also the Labradorite, Labradorite, Labradite, oh, I get so, that word is tough for me. And then look how pretty it is. It's just sparkles and it has the same chain, the same catch, just gorgeous. It's beautiful. And I love the way, I don't know, it just I love the way all of this just moves. Okay, and these, I had a hard time deciding which earrings I wanted to wear, but I just enjoyed wearing these so much yesterday with my hair straight. I felt like these, I like hoops when my hair is bigger and I don't know, it has more curl to it, but look at these hoops. They are gorgeous. They are hoops with like the little notches cut in there and at each notch you have like a pave set stone so that they just sparkle and there's just something beautiful about them. Even the profile of them is so pretty. And then they have the nice back on them. They're just gorgeous. Oh, I love them. Think how pretty they would look too with your hair up. Beautiful. Okay, and then this bracelet is something I chose. He also has another one that's a little simpler with that pull, but I just love these. This is the kind of thing I put, go directly to put on when we go out or I'm going to like the Christmas party or the New Year's Eve party or if we're going out with another couple or something. I always go and grab one of his bracelets like this because it's so much look and it's so comfortable and <clears throat> I wanted to say yesterday when I was wearing it and I'll put a picture in here I'm um, wearing it yesterday at first I thought it was just like a magnet closure but make sure you do slide it in because when I was in the car it came off and I was like ooh so um, someone will have to help you unless you're very um, talented and can do that yourself, which I am not because I tried in the car. And he said, I didn't know this was coming. This was a surprise. He said he sent this to me just as a special gift, but look at this ring. Oh my God. I love it. It just glows. And I've got several things. This is one of my favorite things. And this stone just, you know, gets, grabs so much attention. I just love it and it fits really really snug i wore it all day yesterday and out to dinner and um i was showing it to brooke i said look at my ring and she said oh yeah she said i like it, it looks kind of retro because you know that's what we love so i'm gonna keep this on too gorgeous so thank you dean and congratulations i'm so proud of him and so I will put a link down below to these items and then you'll also see there's some more items that are in on the Nordstrom sales. It's a wonderful time to get some things if you love his stuff or if you wanted to try it. And then there are also some more things that are not on the anniversary sale, but anyway. So um, I'm gonna put these away and I'll be right back. Now on to, um, let me show you a few things that I got and before I get to my Atlanta, I would say, I would say it's a luxury haul. I ordered another bottle of this Dior Backstage. Um, Tammy was saying, we both had tried the 2W and she told me that she liked the 2WO, which is what I have on today. And I love it, love it. This foundation is really good. It's a very, I would call it a very simple, easy, good foundation. 
it doesn't I didn't have to put any powder on doesn't need to be set it looks good all day it is just a really good one to try and it's a good price and I love that it's in like a little squeezy tube um, I had to actually put it on twice today because um, my I'm gonna do a skincare video I promise I'm gonna do that soon but the skincare that I'm using now is just so intense that I was peeling and after I put it on I was flaking up and I had to put it on again and I noticed the first time I tried to put it on with the Sonia Kashuk sponge and I prefer putting it on with my it uh, foundation brush the one that I the slanted one I'll put down below what brush I used because I think it did prettier especially over that flawless filter which can, if you have not gotten that Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter, that is something that I can guarantee 99.9 .9 that you will love it. It is just beautiful. As soon as I put that on, I feel like everything else is gravy. <laughs> it's going to be good, you know? Okay, and then when I ordered that next color, the 2WO, which is a little bit more olive, I ordered this. I, I kind of wanted one more thing. I don't know if I got free shipping or not, but anyway, I ordered this, which is the Huda Beauty, and it is the baking powder, and the color that they recommended for me is Pound Cake, and I just wanted to try it, and so I used it today for the first time, and I think it worked very well, so much that I didn't feel the need to go back in with my Maybelline or the YSL Touche Clot, or I didn't feel the need to go back in with any of my extra under eye brighteners. So, and it smells good. Wait a second, let me make sure I'm not smelling my new perfume I've got on. It smells good, it smells just slightly perfumey. Not sugary or anything, but um, good. And it's got the little net, you know, app, not, I wouldn't say applicator, but it's got the net at the top. And mine had a bunch out of it where it had just been shipped. And um, good for her. You know, I like supporting, you know, other YouTubers that have just done this well. It's amazing. I keep waiting. <laughs> I want someone to let me create lip liners because I think that would be something that no one else has really done and that it's one of my favorite things. So maybe one day I'll get to do that. But it came in this really cool box, you know, packaging and everything. She's done a really good job. So I liked that and um, I was impressed with how well it worked. Okay, and then, okay, let me show you a few more things that I got before I get into Atlanta. Hey, okay, this is gonna be funny because this is gonna be something you either love or you hate. And I put the link to them last time, but I love these. Look at these slides or platforms or whatever else you wanna call them. Are they not just, it's like a combination of Wolf of Wall Street, her on there, what was her name? Margot, that beautiful girl. I think of Wolf of Wall Street, I think of Mrs. Roper, I think of 60s Glam, and they're Tory Burch, so they're nice shoes. And they're available if like the fur is too much for you and the pink and everything, which I understand. They are available with a regular top and like navy. I don't think they have black. But when I saw these, it was one of those things that I don't know when I'm gonna wear these. I do have two light pink dresses, but I really think they'd almost look better with black, you know, not like not trying to match them. But I love these and I am going to wear these. This is something I would wear and not worry about it because I'm not, I almost like wearing things that other people may not, I hate to say they're afraid to wear it, but I kind of like that. I kind of like pushing myself and wearing something that maybe someone else wouldn't. And um, Brooke and I have both walked around in these and they're very comfortable. They're not as heavy or as clunky as you would think. And I just love that. It's kind of like the um, Ferragamo look or that Stella McCartney. I just think they're fabulous. And the fact that they're Tory Burch, I don't know, made them even better because I knew they would be good quality. And um, I just love them. And I got my regular size eight and they fit perfectly. Now I think we're into the stuff that I got when I went shopping with Tiffany, Makeup by Tiffany D. And you know, we've both been on here forever. I can remember watching her, I told her this other day, I remember watching you in your closet doing your makeup before I even started my channel. And we have um, talked like on 
um, text and Instagram messages for a couple years now. So when I told her I was going there, she was nice enough to say that she wanted, you know, asked me if I wanted to do a girl's day and we went shopping and it was really, I just loved it. First of all, I wanna say I watched a video this morning by Diana and you guys have heard me talk about her. I believe it's Adventures of Barbarella. And she was she did a video on cameras and how, you know, what you're seeing, me or anyone, is really not true to life. And I've told Tammy, I told her this when I was talking to her the other day, that everyone I meet that I have, like when I met at Reward Style, or anyone I meet in, in person that I've watched on YouTube, they're always so much prettier in person. And it's like, I just think that these lenses really harden us so much more. I don't think your naked eye in real life, you know, we've gotten so hung up on this HD and like getting right here in somebody's face. And I almost think that's not good. I don't think that's even good for us to show you makeup that close because it's not realistic. And I can remember when I was at Sheila Fajal's house, her husband is a, um, you know, a photographer. Like he has done covers for National Geographic. He is a legit photographer. And we were talking about retouched photos and stuff. And he said that he hates to do that, but that sometimes you almost have to because the photo is so much not like real life. A photo is so much more, it's a, such a harsh picture. And I remember um, Camille Grammer reading, either watching or reading an interview saying that when she was beside someone on the plane, how they looked at her and said, oh my gosh, you're so much prettier in real life. And uh, she was like, thanks, that's what HD television will do for you. So anyway, that's, I just wanted to say that. And I'm going to try to remember to link Diana's video down below because she had a good, I love her personality, um, she, but she had a good take on filters. Kind of like, you know, you see people using filters and some people will give you a hard time about it. But if the, she was saying, if the picture's already going to be distorted, why not put the mood that you want onto that picture that she does. And I totally agree. I do not filter mine. And I kind of feel like when you don't filter it, you're not even playing on the same field with all the other people that you see their pictures. But yet I don't want people saying, oh, you put filters on your you know, camera. Like a lot of times I will find a makeup look and I will show it to someone and say, you know, how can I look like this? And they're like, they don't look like this. This is a filter. And you know, here I am trying to look like this person or have my makeup look like this person and they have filters. So I just want to put that out there, especially for those of you, um, you know, that I don't want you to be hard on yourself. And I try to tell myself the same thing. And um, so anyway, I think roundabout where this was going is M Tiffany is beautiful. She is, to me, is so much prettier in person. Her lashes are unbelievable. Biggest, most beautiful eyes. She was my height, which when I first, when we first got out of the car and everything, she had wedges on. But I told her, I said, you're so much taller in person. And she said, well, I'm the same height as you. But for some reason in her videos, she comes off more petite and um, just such a presence, beautiful skin, and I just love it. I mean, I just loved how, I don't know, I just loved how, how, I don't know, I hate to say how much prettier she was, but it was just so neat to meet her in person. So, she took me, the first place we went, I believe was to Neiman Marcus, and I had seen this lip gloss that I bought actually the day before at Nordstrom. And um, I was gonna go back over there and she said, well, we'll go to, we were texting and she said, well, we'll go by a Trish McAvoy counter. So I just grabbed it when I was out the next day, but it's one of their new ultra wear lip glosses. And when I put it on, it just brightened my face that day before. So I wanted to put it on with you guys so you could see before and after. And there's two pinks that I like. There's one that's more of a cool pink and then this one is called Berry, which it's still a pink, but it's more of a, I don't know, I felt like it was just a, I don't know, I just felt like it was more of a wearable, everyday, beautiful pink. 
And let's light this sucker up. And we'll use my little mirror here. And it has like a loop that I can hold it. And, but anyway, when I put this on that day, the, um, the makeup assistant girl, can't remember what that's called, um, gave me a little wand and I put it on and when I went back to my hotel, it just looked so good. That's why I wanted to go back and get it. So this is called Berry and it just lasted so long that day. I don't have any lip liner on. Okay, so there it is. And this light does distort it a little bit. Okay, so there it is. Isn't it gorgeous? Oh my goodness, I just love it. I just think it's one of those, especially like today I did, my favorite look these days is a minimal makeup look, kind of like a chiseled minimal makeup look. And I feel like this is perfect. Almost like that Russian Instagram model look that I've been crazy about for years. So love that. And I think you would too. And I've already worn it. So matter of fact, the one I wore that day was the more light blue pinky one. So if that's more your thing, I liked that one too. But just the formula, it's kind of thick. It's not incredibly sticky, but it is sticky to a point. You know, they have to be somewhat sticky to stay on. I would say kind of like a glossomer, a Chanel glossomer. So that was probably one of the first things that I got. And then we went to the Tom Ford counter and I, what, what did I go there looking for? Oh, I bought the, that lipstick there. I bought that spiced honey lipstick that I had gotten in the kit that I love so much. And then I asked the guy there about the lip liners and I told him that I had gotten number two which in the picture, I'll put it back up, but the picture of my jewelry that I showed you from Dean yesterday, I wore the light Tom Ford lip liner, number two, and I wore the Spiced Honey, and I love it. If you like that light lip look, it was perfect. But it was wonderful because the guy working here used to work for Lancome. So when I told him, sorry, I'll turn this off. When I told him that I loved Lancome Ideal and Bronzel and Natural Mauve, that those were my favorite, all-time favorite lip liners, he knew exactly what I was talking about. And he sold me this one, and I'm not sure. Oh, number four, Extort. And I haven't used this yet, but I really like that um, applicator. So I'm gonna show you the color. So you can see it's more of that brown. It's a little bit more brown than um, ideal, but it's still really pretty. And I thought it would look really good with like my peachy tones. And even, these look good even with like, put it on with like cream cup, like a blue pink, and you'll be surprised at how pretty it looks. I mean, just put it on and then mix it well. But, um, Love it, and I do love number two. It's a light one, but I like it. No regrets on getting it. And then when we were looking at everything, uh, Tiffany, and I, Tiffany and I both saw this quad, and it's called Disco Dust, and I know it's one of their like basics, but I think what grabbed my attention is I always try to pay attention to what is like used up, like what I can tell a lot of people like and what I can tell they're using a lot and putting on people. And this one was very well loved. And this color here was like hit and pan. I mean, it was really, really well loved. And then this color here, which is that pinky cranberry, is just such an awesome color. It looks so good with every eye color. It's good as a single shadow. It reminds me um, of like Carrie on Sex and the City. If you'll notice, she always had like a pinky nude eyeshadow on and then you could use that one for liner and I haven't used this yet because I'm in love with what I'm wearing today and I can't quit wearing it but it is just beautiful and um, since then I've spoke with a few people that have this and love it so I was excited and I don't know if I've ever regret regretted a Tom Ford quad they're just good and then Okay, and we'll try to go in the way that we went that day. Then we went over to the Byredo counter, 
and I, gosh, we were laughing because I was trying to pick between Velvet Haze, which is one of Tiffany's favorites, and then the other favorite is Mojave Ghost, and I loved both of them, and I was sitting there trying to decide which one I wanted to get, and so the girl took my hands and she sprayed a whole spray of one on one hand and one on the other, and she said, you know, don't let it dry. And so I just kind of stood there while there was like a puddle of, you know, perfume on both of my hands and let them dry. And then I decided which one. Well, that night I could not get that off. I felt like I had hugged a hundred grandpas. <laughs> you know how they always have that aftershave or a hundred car salesmen, <laughs> the heavy cologne. And I had to, I think it was like, 12 o'clock or one o'clock in the morning, I had to get up and take a shower and just really get that off because I'd planned on taking a shower in the morning before I got on the, you know, before I went to the airport. I had to get up and take a shower to get that off of me because it was like making my heart race and everything. But one, one of these doesn't do that. That is just because she put that intense, full on spray of both of them on. I put this on today and it smells so good. It's such a, sexy, unique. Um, it's different than anything else I've ever smelled. Let me spray it again. I'll see if I can. I'm pretty good at, um, oh, there's like a, a little bit of deepness, but not too much. It's the kind that kind of gives you butterflies. It's not a clean scent. Let me try to think. Okay. If you used to like Calvin Klein Eternity. You will love this. If you like Angel, you will love this. If you like, hmm, I'm trying to think. It's not really a unisex, I wouldn't say, because I think it's got, it's prettier. But it's just, if you were by a counter, you have to smell this. And I love the look of the bottle. Then when we were checking out, we saw these and they are hand creams. She said that they've got stuff in them, cocoa butter and all this stuff in them for your cuticles and um, shea butter. Shea butter is the second ingredient. And she said they're good for your cuticles, yada, yada. I just love the fact that I could get this from my purse and this was the other scent that I liked, which is more of a This one is more of a smoother, let me see if I can even smell it since I've already done a spray of that. Let me rub it on and see if I can. Okay, this is a softer, um, cleaner, sweeter. When I say sweet, I don't mean like sweet as in candy, but like a sweet girl. <laughs> oh, it smells so good. Okay, this is very office um, appropriate. The other one, I still think you'd be fine in the office, but it's more like a sexy scent, maybe a going out scent, which I wear every day. It doesn't matter to me, but it's not beachy or anything like that. So love those. And I was glad I did that because that's something I've always, I tried to look and buy things that I cannot get here and that I'm always curious about. Okay, let me regroup because I kind of want to keep on going on how we bought things in the order, so I'll be right back. I'm scared. I think I might have gotten out of order. I can't remember. Seems like we went to the shoe department in Neiman Marcus before we went to Tom Ford. Um, and I was thinking, I don't remember having a bag, but it was because they shipped these to me. But we went in the Neiman Marcus shoe department, which I told her, I said, can I just take a moment? <laughs> it's just so... It was just so beautiful. And let me go ahead right now and just give you my thoughts on shopping in Atlanta. I am just going there, period. You know, it was a, a straight flight because anytime we go anywhere from North Carolina, we have to go either through Charlotte or Atlanta. So I had been to Atlanta airport before, but if you fly Delta, usually I fly American, but if you fly Delta, you can go straight to Atlanta. And from the moment I got to Atlanta in the airport on the little tram train thing 
to the point of having to get a taxi to the hotel, to the hotel. Everywhere I went, people were so nice. It was just like I was in the twilight zone of nice people and everybody was so good looking. And when I say that, I don't mean like good looking. I just mean like smiles on their faces, put together, dress nicely. And I don't mean in like, you know, I don't even know what brand or whatever, but just so put together. And as soon as I walked in the hotel, it just smelled so good and I couldn't check in yet. So I had to just, they kept my bags and then I went to Nordstrom. And then when they uh, called me to tell me I could come check in, I went back over there. And as soon as I walked in the hotel, I saw this guy and he looked familiar and I felt like I should just say hey to him, you know, like he was a friend. And then I realized it was someone off of uh, Real Housewives of Atlanta. So I was like, oh, oh, and then, so I was checking in and then I saw a bunch of people and then I looked over and then there was Todd, uh, Candy's husband from Housewives of Atlanta. And then, so I realized who that was. It was Candy's assistant. So that night when I was texting with Tiffany, I said, yeah, I saw, you know, Todd, Candy's husband. I said, and I can't remember the other guy's name. It's something different. And she texted back, Don Juan. And I was like, yes, that's who it was. So I saw Don Juan and Candy's husband, Todd. And they, I asked the next day what they were doing there because they were in like the restaurant and lounge and it wasn't open. And she said they were doing a photo shoot for that hotel, which I stayed at the Marriott, AC Marriott, right by Phipps Plaza. And it was, my room was literally looking out at Nordstrom. So it was perfect. Tiffany helped me with that. And um, just everyone was just, I'm, I'm not talking about just, I mean, it's like people you meet, every sales associate. Um, when I flew back, all the ticket gate people were nice. I mean, I told, I was telling my parents about it when I got back because I always go see them and tell them about my trips. And my dad's been everywhere. My parents have, my mom hadn't been as many places as my dad, but, and um, I just told him it almost bothered me that I feel like they're nicer there than here. And you know, we're the South too, but my mom was saying because we're the beach and you know, a lot of the people that live here, mo I would say, I wouldn't say most, but a lot of the people that live here didn't grow up here and weren't born here. They have moved here from other places up north and everything. And like when I tell people that I was born here and that my parents were born here, that is like a weird thing, you know? And when I went to UNCW for a couple of years, most everybody there was from, I remember like New Jersey was like a big thing. I couldn't believe how many people were from New Jersey. So I think when I went to Atlanta, it was just even more in the South. And I just felt so at ease, at home, happy, safe. Um, I loved it. I loved it. I loved every bit of it. And so I can't wait to go back. I will definitely be going back. It was one of my best shopping trips. I think I did, I could have gotten everything there that I could have gotten in New York, Los Angeles. I just loved it. So anyway, there goes that. I just loved every minute of it. Even the flight back, it was just perfect. So when we went in the shoe department, um, we were looking at everything and um, I'll put a cute picture here of Tiffany. She got a really cool pair of, I think they're a Dior tennis shoes that she changed into. And I had taken my reef flip flops because I knew I was gonna end up changing into some comfortable shoes. I am not gonna let a pair of shoes keep me from enjoying my day. So um, I tried some different things on and I saw these and then saw them on the clearance rack. And I asked the guy why they were on the clearance rack and he said that actually they were like one of the only pairs left. They only had a few pair left. So they had discounted these from um, $5.98 to $1.79. And they are the Stuart Weitzman Cling. The same ones that I love that I have in the red nude booties. I really, I, I still can't believe it. I had them shipped to me and I just got them today because I got them with no tax and no shipping since I don't have a Neiman Marcus here and um, love them. I mean, I just can't imagine how much I'm gonna wear these. Summertime, wintertime, all year round. And so this is one of my like star deals of the whole trip. And they were, you can see my size and everything. I just, I still can't believe it. So that was, I think I got that before we went to the Tom Ford counter. Okay, then I think that was it that I bought at Neiman Marcus. 
and we're, we gone to Tom Ford. I think we walked around, but we didn't look at any clothes or anything. I think we were both really good about, I really had fun shopping with her. We were, we just hit like the, the main things, you know, bags, sunglasses, makeup, and shoes. That was probably the biggest things. So we went, drove back over to the mall that had the sacks in it, and that was equally as beautiful. And we went to, walked through there, and I think the first thing we did was go by the Chanel counter because I loved her liner and she had on the Chanel eyeliner. So we went by the Chanel counter and had a really sweet girl that was very helpful, was right in tune with what I was asking her about because it was something else I was asking her about. But we skipped, we told her we'd be right back. I told her I wanted to see what other damage I did. And we went to the shoe department. And um, Tiffany knew a girl at the shoe department. Hold on, my baby's crying. Hold on. Okay, she will probably need to come back in in a few minutes, but she was doing that thing. Don't you hate it when you're in a hurry and they like want to walk around the whole backyard? Anyway, we went to the shoe department. Tiffany, we looked at everything. I was looking all around and she ended up getting, I believe, a pair of Valentino wedges. And then I tried on, I'd been looking at, I thought to myself when I went there, I wanted to get a cool pair of slides, either a some kind of cool comfort pair of either slides or flat sandals or something because I've kind of enjoyed wearing those lately. And so the first ones I tried on were the Valentino slides in the pinky nude color. And I just wasn't feeling the, the color. And when I put them on, I walked around and I asked the girl, there were some other girls standing there, I was like, are they supposed to just be all over my foot like this? It just looked like they were real sloppy looking and you know, it just didn't fit well. And so I ended up trying the black ones. And Tiffany said she had the black ones. And you guys know I'm a Valentino lover anyway. I've never regretted anything. Maybe that one bag that looked like a Stegosaurus. But anyway, I love Valentino. And she was just saying how pretty she had these and how pretty they look on your feet. So the girl brought them out for me. And when I put them on, just instantly, I loved them. And they just fit so much better. And they look so much better. And I thought huh, what's the difference in the black and the nude? And what it was is, I told her that I wore a US size eight. And in the pink ones, she brought me out the nine because she said that they run, um, you have to size up. But accidentally in the black ones, she brought me a size eight. Did I say she brought me nine in the pink ones? And then in these, she brought me a true size eight. And they feel so much better. So, and these, my heel does go to the end, but not over or anything. They looked so much better. And so I tried them both on and we all agreed that the eight looked better on me and it fits my foot. It doesn't have that sloppy, like um, 12 year old boy. You know, like when you see little boys wear them and they're just real sloppy and their foot's real long and skinny. They looked really pretty on and I love them. They just, they look really good. They're, to be slides, I think they just look beautiful. So I was so happy I got those. And then we went over to the handbags. And I think before then we had gone to Louis Vuitton and I'll tell you why. But we went to the handbags because I wanted to look, she has one of those Givenchy um, Antigona bags, I think. It's a small and I really still might get one. I'm trying to decide what color because I think that that bag, she loves it. She has it in two different colors. It looked like the perfect size. It didn't look like something that was gonna get messed up looking. Um, I always like, here comes Bridget, hold on. I always like when I pay attention to like Rosie Huntington Whiteley or um, the Housewives of you know um, New York or Beverly Hills, all those people that I like their style and people that have endless amounts of money and could be carrying any bag they want. And if I notice them all carrying like the same bags or carrying the same bag over and over, then I realize that it must be a good bag. I mean, they like it and it must be user friendly. And you know, it makes me, rather than something you just see every once in a while, you know what I mean? So that's how I feel about that bag. So I didn't get anything there, but I'll get something later. And then we went to the sunglasses. So we both tried on lots of sunglasses and I already had in my mind that I wanted maybe another pair of Gucci sunglasses. And I wanted some that were really, really big. 
And so I tried on lots of different pairs and I finally ended up with these. And as soon as I put these on, Tiffany and the sales associate just loved them and so did I. And um, let me take this tag. And they weren't cheap, but they weren't as expensive. Some of them I've seen are over like $500. These were $420. And they're the big crazy square ones. But what I loved about them is the pink on the side with like the um, almost like glittery look you guys know i love that and i love the pink with the tortoiseshell i just think that's such a good combo and i love them and but they're so big that they don't sit on my cheeks like if they were smaller they would but just because they're so big they don't i just love them <laughs> and i think these look better too with with my hair straight i think i look better with smaller sunglasses but with um big hair i like these big sunglasses and they're so pretty from the side so love these and these are the kind too that you can put back in your hair and um i don't know if they have a name nope but anyway love them so and i asked for this case i have another case like this with my other big square gucci sunglasses and i love you guys know i love chartreuse so that's why i asked for this case and then I think we were headed out and I had already looked at this and went back and got it. And um, this time when I was traveling was the first time I took my MacBook Pro or whatever, it's a laptop. And um, ding dong me, I just thought people packed them in their luggage and John was like, no, you cannot put that in your luggage. You're going to have to carry it with you. And I said, carry it with me? And he was like, yeah, you're going to have to carry it with you. And so, and this was the night before I was leaving and I had to leave at like five o'clock. And um, so luckily it did fit in my green Balenciaga, which I think is the work bag. It's bigger than the city bag, but it was not a comfortable fit. And I do have some other totes like Sheila's tote and stuff that I like, but I'd already been thinking about getting a Louis Vuitton Neverfull for my trips. And now that I'm going more places like I've got another trip that I'm going to take with Monate in September and um, that's another thing that you always see celebrities Camille Grammer everybody with their Louis Vuitton never full and when I was talking to Tiffany about it she was like oh you'll love it that is like one of my most used bags you cannot hurt it you know you can fit so much stuff in it so excuse me I didn't even have her put it in the box or a fancy bag or anything because I knew I had to watch out for my um, packing room. But I got this one, just the MM, and I can't even tell you what the name of this is. I just liked it because the straps were dark and I wouldn't have to worry about them getting dirty or you know changing colors, which it, that doesn't matter. But and another thing is you can either get it in red or the pink, and I really liked the pink. So, and I love, I loved this too. And I think I'm just gonna enjoy it. You know, it's one of those things I might end up using it as a handbag, I don't know. But um, I know that I'm gonna enjoy it because from now on I'm gonna take my computer with me, my laptop, and it's so nice to be able to throw snacks and a drink and all the other stuff that I've been putting in my poor Balenciagas. And then that one time I took my Valentino tote and I kind of regretted it because it kind of got a little um, I could just tell that I had used it a little bit more and I don't want to hurt that one because I like using that one as a bag But um, so anyway, no regrets. I love it And um, I've been having it out here to save To show you guys. I think that's it and I was hoping I'm supposed to get some more Nordstrom packages today and tomorrow um, and I had ordered some stuff from like the home section. So whatever I get, I'll just kind of put it in with my other videos that I do coming up in the next week. Oh, and it opens, the Nordstrom sale opens to the public. I think probably 12 o'clock tonight. So um, I will link down below my Nordstrom haul video so you can see the things that I got. I'm sure you have already. Thank you too for all of your good response to that and um, so I'm going to do an outfit of the day and I will finally let you go. I'll be right back. Okay so today I have on just a little bralette that I bought last year at Victoria's Secret. This is that um, bodysuit that I love in my size from Zara and then these pants you guys probably remember them are the high-waisted black pants from Nordstrom the top shop and Brooke just put on my bracelet for me so I can wear it today. 
And let me back up. Okay, so you can see, and I just have on my old Prada shoes that are platform. And um, so this is it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I enjoyed being in Atlanta. I enjoyed my time with Tiffany. And um, I will be back this weekend. See you then. Bye-bye.